Right guys, alternatives to SBD, squat bench deadlift. Firstly, I'm looking kind of jacked, but coaching below, free coaching consultation call is also below in the description. Now, into the video, as an average squat bench deadlift hater, I'm just joking, but currently I don't do SBD. Nothing wrong with SBD. Personally, I don't do them. I've made a video on why I don't do them. You can search that up on my channel. But if you're someone who feels that you don't know what to do, if you weren't going to do the squat bench deadlift, here are some exercises that can replace these. And in my personal opinion, I think are better when we're talking in terms of hypertrophy because we're trying to get jacked trying to get big okay and to spice things up we're gonna go from deadlift bench squat starting with the deadlift most obvious answer right off the bat is the rdl and i'll also throw in the good morning personally i'm more of an rdl enjoyer and what i like to do because the normal rdl you're a bit limited when it comes to range of motion when your hamstrings get a bit more flexible and also once you get stronger you're still using a lot of weight right and the reason the deadlift is kind of annoying is that because the stimulus to fatigue ratio is horrendous I'm not going to dispute that but you kind of run into the same issue with the rdl once you get really strong so how do we combat this problem Add a deficit. Immediately, you need to drop your weight by a significant amount because you're getting more range of motion. When you add a deficit, it does mean that you will need to have a better level of hamstring mobility. You should be getting more flexible in the gym anyway, so hopefully you're fine with that. This is something you can work with over time. If you want help with that, coaching. Now, that's level one. Add a deficit. Level two to that is you have a deficit and you have a reach at the bottom. A reach is when at the bottom of the RDL, you kind of let the bar roll forward a little bit. So it's not against your shins. This gives you a bit more stretch on the hamstring, makes your levers worse, making it a lot harder. Yet again, you're going to have to reduce the weight by quite a bit to do this reach. That's level two, but we have another level. Level three is we have a deficit. We have a reach, and now we also have a pause. Yet again, the pause making it harder at the probably the best part of the movement, at the bottom, the hardest part. Yet again, have to reduce the weight by a significant amount. By doing all these three things, we now, instead of having a regular rdl which is still fatiguing once you get pretty strong we've taken it back reduced the weight a lot and we're still getting the same and arguably what i think a better stimulus than just the regular rdl keep in mind once you get strong is i'm not gonna i want to stop cursing i feel that's an issue because i want to seem more dignified so what was i saying yeah if you keep doing this you're going to get really strong and you're then it's going to be oh you have, still have to use a lot of weight but by that point it's like trying to reduce the weight even more to get the stimulus to fatigue to be better is kind of just annoying and you may as well just stick to that the best stimulus to fatigue would be the good morning because the lever is so long and your leverages are terrible so by having the bar on your back and you leaning forward it's a lot heavier here a lot harder personally i prefer the rdl simply because you get the upper body benefits as well but if you are a good morning enjoyer if you're not as bothered about the upper body benefits you already do a lot of upper body stuff you can do the good morning instead, which is a very solid option. Un bench press alternatives. Immediately, 
my brain goes to weighty dips. People will say, well, you're targeting so much lower chest with the weighty dips. You are with the bench as well. If you're benching properly, you're going to have a bit of an arch and you're targeting a bit more lower chest on that as well. So that's not really an argument here. What I will say, if you have dominant triceps, dominant arms, they may take over when you're doing dips. However, if that is not you, this will not be an issue. Another thing that comes to mind is the ring push-up or the ring dip. These, The ring dip especially is a very, not very, but relatively higher skill movement to do. But the ring push-up is a really, really solid option the stretch at the bottom the push up the supination at the top has a bit more upper chest really solid exercise as it gets tougher you can add up well as it gets easier i say you can get come out make it more of a flag get a bigger stretch you can pause at the bottom you should not really get to a point where the progression has stopped with this exercise that was something i previously thought but i realized that there's so much things you can do with the ring push-up. I'll now give you a third, a third option, and that would be dumbbell press. But specifically, when you do the dumbbells, to avoid the issue, which I personally ran into when I was using dumbbells, as it gets heavier, the range of motion decreases because the dumbbell is bigger, which is a really bad thing. I don't want no partial range of motion dumbbell press. Therefore... What we can do, we can turn it out slightly, come down with the dumbbells and get to the point where it's not really hitting our chest as much. It kind of comes out at an angle. So we're still getting the same range of motion, even as we get stronger. For most people, that is not going to be an issue though. Lastly, I'll throw in camber bar bench press. Personally, I have not tried this exercise, but it looks awesome. And I would say that is a better alternative to the regular bench press as less weight less fatigue better stimulus more stretch more range of motion really solid exercise lastly squats this is one where it's a bit harder because i believe everyone should have the capability of being able to do a squat personally i have the capability to do a squat uh, but i do not squat anymore quads are not a really big priority for me at the moment but this also comes down to your body type for me squats are not the best for my quads yet for someone else squats could be absolutely amazing if you're built to squat squatting is so good for building muscle for you for example Tom Platts was built to squat. And you can tell this by when you go do a squat, assuming you have adequate mobility, are you able to stay upright very easily and have that feel natural? Or are you a person who finds that more difficult and you can kind of lean forward a bit more? You have long ass legs. Personally, that was me. I always found it very, very hard to, like, to actually use my quads when squatting. So here are some alternatives if you find yourself in this scenario. Firstly, any type of bodybuilder machine, I'd recommend a hack squat over a leg press. There's something about the squat motion which is simply superior than a leg press. Along with the fact that loading up a leg press, oh my god, it's so painful and time consuming. Another thing we can do is we'll keep the barbell squat, but we'll change it to a front squat. Even, let's say your regular squat is a low bar, change it up to a high bar. Maybe that will fix the issue for you. But personally, I quite like front squats, and specifically zombie squats eliminates the need for a lot of thoracic extension mobility, wrist mobility not to say you shouldn't work on these but it can be really annoying to first get into the regular front squat whereas if you do a zombie squat like make sure not to show my nipples if you do a zombie squat where your arms are like this and the bar is balanced eliminates the need for that type of mobility also forces you to stay upright even more so if you're having the issue of you cannot use your quads on the squat the zombie squat forces you to stay upright 
you must use your quads or the bar is falling off and then who knows what can happen from there anarchy for me at the moment a quick insight into my leg training if you guys are interested i'm not really taking my quads super seriously i'm not doing like a really proper builder i'm not training my quads as if i like really want to grow them if i did i would do a belt squat that's another exercise i can I would add, as you're able to stay upright a bit more as long as you're conscious of it and hit your quads a bit more. At the moment, I'm really just working on mobility stuff and a lot of those exercises end up hitting my quads, which is fine because naturally I've been gifted with good quads. Like, they're just chunky. I have big-ass quads. When I was a kid, my quads were big. I'd sit on the bus, right? Now, imagine you're on the bus... You're on the school bus, you have someone sitting next to you, and I look at my mate, and I look at his legs, and he'd just have, he'd have normal sized legs, and then one of my quads, not saying this is muscle, they're just naturally chunky, would the war of his, like one of my quads was bigger than both of his, put the gear. That being said, I was a bit fat, but still, I just have that naturally girthy thing. So, that being besides the point, Squatting is probably the hardest to get rid of if you do not want to squat bench deadlift. By far the best out of the squat bench deadlift would be the squat. So I think the squat is like a very good exercise. For me, I'm not doing it at the moment. I don't really see myself doing it in the future. However, for a lot of people, it is beautiful, really solid exercise. If you guys have any suggestions, leave them in the comments because I'm sure as people read them, they can be like, oh, I might try that out. So you're helping the community and that along with any video requests, leave in the comment as well. Have you know a lot, some of the videos I've made has been specifically because of a comment that someone has left. So if you think, that if you leave a comment, I'm not going to make a video about it. You are wrong. You are dead wrong. Because I may see that comment and think, damn, I'm going to make a video on that. And then that's that's a win-win. I answer your question and I've made a video. So I was not going to say anything else. I don't, this, guys, tell me, is this lighting good than like my, my other place? Because I'm going to be going back there in a couple weeks. But this is... I feel like this is better. I might have to take this light and make it a nicer setup, I think. But thank you for watching anyway. Do I have anything else to show you? I thought I was going to... Oh, I, should... I got this natty deodorant. Uh, makes me smell nice. I don't, <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking about that. But, boom.